inclusive responsibility is an ethical framework, basically, based on universal values such as inclusion, interdependence, pluralism, justice, equity and care. Um, which in, you know, at the end of the book, we argue should guide our transformation of the food and agriculture system. Um, and we came up with this because I think we really realised that these multiple crises that we are facing, yes, it's about the corporate food regime and capitalism and all sorts of, uh, you know, industrial agriculture, but it ultimately to us um, reflects an underlying crisis of ethics and values. So if we think about um, you know, our economic system, which is a huge driver of these crises, you know, the sort of values or principles that it's based on, it values competition and individualism and colonization and racism and patriarchy and, and extraction. And I could just go on and on and on about, you know, all the ills. Um, and I think we really felt that if we want systemic solutions to the root causes, then we need to build alternatives to the current destructive system. And whatever systems we create have to be underpinned by an ethical framework of responsibility um, aligned with universal human values. Otherwise, we'll just keep reproducing the same problems. Um, and so um, we, you know, in the book, we, we sort of try and distill some of the really key themes that the, the chapters were putting forward in terms of new ways forward. And we use those themes um, to kind of inform what, you know, along with the, the sort of the ethical values that I just talked about to kind of come up with some principles, I suppose, or considerations for what an inclusively responsible food and agriculture paradigm would look like. I mean, in, in our mind, we could have, you know, an inclusively responsible any kind of system, but, you know, in terms of a food and agriculture system. And we came up with, you know, six considerations or principles um, that this paradigm should be ecologically sustainable and multifunctional. Um, that it needs to be relevant to smallholders and their innovation and development strategies. Um, that it needs to, this paradigm needs to be able to meet the, the need for sustainable and healthy whole food plant-based diets. Um, that it needs to be able to integrate into the wider movements, um, resisting the corporate food regime, um, fighting for local autonomy, for land justice, seed justice, um, and food sovereignty. Um, this paradigm needs to respect and protect the rights of all sentient beings, both human and non-human, um, and you know, to live free from human oppression and exploitation and harm. And finally, um, an inclusively responsible food and agriculture paradigm would respect and protect the rights, rights of nature based on an ethic of care towards the earth. Um, and so, you know, we we've used sort of inclusive response well in based on those principles then we sort of thought one possible vision for a paradigm of agriculture food and agriculture would be this ca based veganic agroecology it kind of ticks all of those boxes um, and you know we we use the idea of inclusively because we want we want it to be applied inclusively to humans other animals the planet at every level of the food and agriculture system and we also wanted to highlight our individual and collective responsibility, a bit like your first question, you know, why should food matter to, to all, well, does food matter to all of us or why should it? It should, and, and, and we all have a collective responsibility um, to contribute to changing this system because we need it. We need a healthy functioning food system for us to live and continue living and thriving on, on this planet. Um, so yeah, that's what inclusive responsibility is. And we, it's an offering, I suppose, of one guiding sort of vision um, for, for people who, are, who want a more sustainable and just food and agriculture system and ultimately world.